Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a review of the LG Gizmo Pal 2. This is a phone in the size of a smartwatch that fits on your kid's wrist that will make parents feel very comfortable allowing their kids to have a phone and kids be happy because now they have a phone and they can make calls on it. Let's go ahead and check it out and I want to say thank you very much to Verizon for allowing me to check out this watch and providing you with a review. I do want to mention that this is a review package, so I did not receive the full box that normally comes from Verizon, but I did receive all the contents of it. Uh, we do have a micro USB to USB type A power connector, as well as a travel charger to be able to charge it. So you do get those in the box. The watch, of course, is a single piece and the SIM card is pre-installed. Uh, we have, of course, the get to know more information packet here. As I mentioned to you guys in the introduction, there's two colors to this. There's the blue and the pink, obviously for boys and girls, or depending on your preference, you can pick whichever you'd like. There pretty much is only two buttons on this. There's the call. Press the call button to call dad or press the play button to hear the next contact. So you'll notice right there, there's basically two lights right there. There's one light here, one light here, and then the third one. This is not actually a touch screen. This is by no means as anything. It's intended to look like a smartwatch or a digital watch, mostly for aesthetics. Uh, we do have the speaker that's built in here for really good clear audio and we also have the LG logo right there. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, on the side we don't have anything else. On the top we also have another opening for a speaker. I do have to say from the experience of using this over the weekend with my son, uh, the audio quality is extremely well and both sides of the conversations are very clear and it is obviously pre-built and running on the Verizon network. Hey buddy. Hi, Baba. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Well, I just wanted to see how the sound uh, sounded on this watch. Thanks for helping me out. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. On the back, we only have basically access to the micro USB charging port. Make sure you close it correctly and make it flush when you're doing this, as this helps in the rating of splash resistance. So meaning if your kids put their hands in the water or they're washing their hands, this is not going to have any problems. Now, other than the, what I just showed you guys, there's not much else you could do on this other than making and receiving calls. Pressing the home the call button will... Press the call button to call dad or press the play button to hear the next contact. So it's very easy, very simple. You hit the play button, it goes to the next one. Press the call button to call mom. So what you see here essentially is I have four contacts built in. You can customize them, who they are and what they are. The naming convention as far as mom, dad, uncle and grandma are set within the application. On your phone, all you need to do is download the Gizmo Hub application and set it up. Now you'll notice it's setting, asking me for a pin. There is also a lock on this, so in case your, your, your kids are actually using your phone, they won't have access to this, so you need to unlock this and then move on. Now, the first thing you're greeted with is the location base. This is just basically saying O's last location. I named the watch O, you can name it to your kid's watch. If you have multiple ones connected, you'll have the access to be able to switch between each one of them. Uh, the other thing here is just giving me the approximate location to where we were over the weekend, and this was in South Redonda, we were at the beach. I can locate it, I can search for it, and it'll actually get pretty close to where my son's location was. Now, of course, we were all together. This wasn't very helpful at the time, but here, if you ever need to, and let's say your kids are out, you have the ability of seeing where the watch is. Switching over to the settings, you'll notice the first tab has the name, the picture, if you want to customize it, the color, as well as the phone number of the watch. Now, this is about the only way for you to figure that out. And when you're pairing this, the instructions that come with this will ask you for the phone number and it will send you a pin code to validate that your phone is the true administrator to this, to this watch. Um, location, you can set it up to be set up to see where the locations are, setting up the different sounds on it. Uh, you can go auto answer if for any reason your child does not answer the call and you keep calling. You can have it automatically answer and you'll be able to listen and talk to them. Of course, this is very, very helpful in case, let's say, you're trying to get in touch with them and it's super important. Now, battery level, as I mentioned to you guys, you have the ability of checking the battery level of the Gizmo Watch directly from this application as there's really no way to check it on the watch itself. But it should be pretty simple. It'll give it a few seconds to finish. So after about three days worth of battery uh, usage and a lot of phone calls, my son was just going crazy making phone calls, uh, you are about 40%. And that's not bad considering that this is a smartwatch without a display. Again, contacts, you can edit the contacts in here. And there is four different contacts here. I'm not going to show you guys, unfortunately, but you can actually add an additional one and say maximum of reach. So it has a maximum of four contacts. Primary is the dad. That's when you're setting up your phone, you'll get that and you'll be considered as primary. You can uh, uh, give permission to the other three app uh, login here or the other three contacts to be as well as caregivers, which means they'll be able to use this application on their device. But other than that, you customize it, you add the phone number, the nickname, and it is a list based link nickname. And it basically will be referred to whenever your phone is dialing it. 
This is the, th uh, the last tab and uh, because of the sensitive information that it has on here, as I mentioned to you guys, this keeps a, a log history of location. So every time you ping a location, it will put it in here and it'll tell you the time and date of when you looked it up. On the left side, we have the ability of removing the, uh, the security code, changing the security timer, as well as sending feedback, adding another gizmo if you do decide to pick up another one. Let's say you have more than one kid and you want to have those. Uh, privacy settings, terms, conditions, and version, of course, is 2.3.64. The benefit of this is really just more of a parent's point of view. You're comfortable giving this to your child because you know what they're going to be getting and what they can do with it. Um, especially here with the holidays, with Halloween, the kids are going to go trick-or-treating, they're going to go candy collecting. They're going to be going with their friends, they're going to leave you, and you don't know necessarily if they're wandering off, somebody there, whatever. This will give you the ability to just kind of keep your eyes on where your kids are. I would have enjoyed having tracking, live tracking on this. It actually has three GPS uh, location, but unfortunately you have to keep pinging it every time and you're able to get a radius location. It's not 100% accurate. So you're getting the general vicinity where it is. So you know if your kid said that they're going to the park, they'll be at the park. And if they're not there, you know where they're going to be. Uh, the ability to force answer is also something nice that parents will definitely enjoy as sometimes kids do get busy or they may not hear the watch and you want to be able to communicate with them. So very, very nice, small package, uh, very easy to use, super simple for the kids, very easy for the parents to set up and set up the little passwords on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much to Verizon for allowing me to check out the Gizmo Pal. I know my son's going to be very sad. I have to return this as he actually kept using this to make phone calls the whole weekend. So again, like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. A link to the Gizmo Pal 2 on Verizon will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video.